Sexual function can greatly affect man's confidence because without sexual function, sexual activity itself becomes impossible. And if you cannot perform sexually, it's not just your own pleasure you're giving up, but also your partner's pleasure as well. When these things accumulate, they can damage relationships. As I mentioned in my last video, there are various reasons for erectile dysfunction. But some people experience erectile dysfunction even when there is no apparent problem. The main reason men's sexual function decline with age is testosterone. It is known that from the age of 30, testosterone decreased by 1% per year. According to the American Urological Association, typical male hormone levels are between 264 to 916. To simplify, let's make it 2.5 to 9. I said there is a 1% decrease from the age of 30, right? Let's make it 0.1 to make it easier. So the average of 2.5 to 9 is about 5.5 which is necessary to be a healthy male. Now, if a 30 years old male becomes a 60, and there is a 0.1 drop per year for 30 years, which becomes 5.5 minus 3 equaling 2.5. This is almost out of range. Then his sexual health starts to have problem. If male hormone drops quickly due to stress or various other reasons, sexual function will decline at earlier age. The second reason is vascular health problem. The most important aspect of male sexual function, erection, occurs due to change in uh, penile arteries. These penile arteries have a slightly different structure compared to other arteries. Other arteries can control blood flow through contraction and relaxation but the penile artery can contract, relax, and also twist like a spring. Normally, they are twisted, but when sexually stimulated, they untwist, expand, and control blood flow. To explain it simply, a blood vessel that is like twisted spaghetti becomes like a straight udon noodles when sexually stimulated. However, for these blood flow changes to occur uh, quickly and smoothly, the blood vessels need to be flexible and move well. If they are not healthy, sexual function will naturally decline. I have a video on how to improve vascular health, so please take a look. The third reason is that as you age, various medical conditions that you get affects the blood vessels. The most common ones are high blood pressure, diabetes, hyperlipidemia, and gout. This condition affects the blood vessels in various ways such as bursting them with pressure, corroding them with high blood sugar, clogging them with fats, or piercing them with uric acid. Then, the blood vessels, which are crucial to our sexual function, become damaged and sexual function gradually declines. Lastly, as you age, you tend to experience pain in many areas. Your back hurts, your knee hurts, your shoulder hurts, and so on. So, it becomes uh, difficult to exercise naturally your exercise levels decrease but the amount we eat doesn't suddenly decrease right then you gain weight and this extra weight causes various problems when we gain weight we feel hotter and sweat more right oh another important thing is a scrotum for our scrotum to function well it needs to be cool that's why it is outside the body but when you gain weight we also get fat accumulation around the scrotum, raising its temperature. This significantly hinders the scrotum's ability to produce male hormones. Additionally, our body contains an enzyme called aromatase in fat cells. This enzyme converts the male hormone into female hormones. So the male hormone that we work so hard to produce are converted to female hormones in fat cells, further reducing masculinity. The most important thing, in my opinion, is the quality of sleep. In reality, there are various causes for decreased male sexual function, such as age, hormone, chronic disease, and stress. But there are quite few people who experience erectile dysfunction even without those factors. However, 
Through seeing these、uh, patients, I found that many had sleep problems, especially those who work long hours or have irregular lifestyle. When I pointed out this issue and helped them improve their lifestyle and sleep quality, they often recovered. So I believe that lack of sleep or irregular sleep also deeply affect erectile dysfunction. The habits that are fatal to sexual function are smoking and drinking. This may sound obvious and boring to you, but these habits have a, such a significant impact that I cannot avoid mentioning them. Smoking constricts blood vessels, and erection is the relaxation of blood vessel. These days, there aren't many cars like this, but in the past, there are cars with handbrakes. Sometimes people forget and drive with the handbrakes on. Then you feel like the car isn't moving well. The car moves forward, but not smoothly. Smoking is the same. Expecting good sexual function while smoking is like hoping a car will drive well with the handbrakes on. With alcohol, drinking in moderation has little to no impact, to be honest. But drinking to the point of intoxication or drunk makes your heart beat faster and stimulates the sympathetic nerve system, as many studies show. Our body's sexual function operates smoothly when parasympathetic nerve system is active, but alcohol stimulates the sympathetic nerve system, which is activated in tense or stressful situation, hindering male sexual function. So, if you find that you cannot perform well after drinking, you are suffering in this aspect. If you have no problem with one can of beer but start having issues with two, remember this information and adjust your alcohol intake. Solving this sensitive issue with medication alone is not a good method. In fact, the medication works very well, surprisingly well. But because the medication is so effective, people tend to rely on it. This is understandable. When men get older and their previously well-maintained sexual function suddenly drop, men are in shock, and they start thinking, "Should I quit smoking? Should I exercise? Should I lose weight?" And these are very healthy and desirable concerns. But when these concerns are easily resolved with medication, they stop worrying about them. So the decrease in sexual function can actually be an opportunity. For this person to become healthier overall, but the medication prevents this. The second is drug resistance. No matter what medication we use, resistance or tolerance can develop. There has to be a reason why erectile dysfunction happens, whether it's a physiological or psychological. We must find the reason first. But if you don't find the cause and just use the medication, the cause will worsen the problem. Then the dosage will need to keep increasing, and eventually the medication will stop working. Surgery might be necessary, but it's difficult,、um, expensive, and the results are not guaranteed to be excellent. If we move beyond using medication and injections, there is nothing else to do. Then we are out of options. In the case of patient that I see, it's often at this final stage, which is very unfortunate. That's why I made this video. If erectile dysfunction begins, find the cause is the most important thing before it's too late. Thirdly, some people talk about size. Some say that taking certain medication or supplement help with the size or firmness of the penis. But folks, the reason the penis gets hard is because the shell of Penile corpus callosum, that sponge-like tissue, is very tough. When blood rushes in, the pressure in the corpus callosum increases. It hardens because of the shell. No medication or supplement you take will increase the size. If any product advertised that it can increase the penis size, never buy it. It's the hardness or rigidity. Men notice it immediately. It feels different. Then they start to feel very anxious because the thought that their sex life might soon end makes us very tense. 
When stressed, the parasympathetic nerve system, which activates the sexual function, weakens, and the sympathetic nerve system, which appears in stressful situations, becomes prominent, causing premature ejaculation or loss of uh, erection in the middle of action. Once this happens, men's mind become complicated. They start to overthink. In the next sexual encounter, they think, oh, what should I do? What if it happens again? We worry. And when it actually happens, their anxiety just spikes and the sympathetic nerve system is very sensitive and heightened. This leads to a situation where they cannot get an erection from the start. This vicious cycle makes men uncomfortable. I had so much to say about erectile dysfunction that the video became longer than expected. So I had to divide it into two. In the next video, I will talk about the fundamental way to help with erectile dysfunction. If you found today's video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe to the channel. Remember, health is wealth, so invest in yourself. This is Dr. Sean, making health easy for you. See you next week. Thank you.